Hey guys, it's Taylor here from Adreno Spearfishing, and today we're here to talk about the front end of your spear. We've covered in previous videos the rear end and how to decide what type of spear, whether it's a Euro or American notch. This week, we're going to be talking about the front end, we're going to be talking about your bullet points and tri-cut tips, but also flopper style. There's a couple of different styles of floppers. Uh, now you've got your Tahitian and your Hawaiian. So your Tahitian spear typically will have the flopper on top. So easiest way to decide what the top is, is have a look where the notches are on the spear. And if your flopper's on top, you've got yourself a Tahitian. We then move on. Same thing again, you have a look at the rear of the spear, where the tabs face up. And if that flop is facing down, we've got a Hawaiian spear. Now, moving on from there, we've got threaded spears or drop barb spears as well. So typically, these are a, a setup for your slip tips or along those lines, especially with your pelagic fish. The difference between choosing a Hawaiian or a Tahitian spear, there are a few things to think about. So, by having your flopper on top, for me, it changes a few things with your shot. Typically when you've taken, taken a shot with your spear, you're always going to have a little bit of whip action through the spear, so which can put your shot out. By then having your flopper on top, naturally by having more of the weight, once you have shot the spear and it's leaving your muzzle, that flopper will now wants to end on the bottom. So now your spear is also rotating rather than just whipping. So there's, two, there's now two actions happening to the spear that you can't control. So by having the flopper on the bottom, it's already in, it's already got the mat, most of the mass at the bottom of the spear. And uh, I think typically I'm a lot more accurate when I'm using these guys. With that in mind, most manufacturers, most people are just using your Hawaiian spear. They're very reliable, and that's, but that's not to say that Tahitian won't work for you. Like I said, for me, I like to use it on a smaller gun, maybe in a comp, nice little, uh, a nice little gun that I can track really quickly, put into caves. Um, that's where I see that it has its benefits. So now we've worked out the difference between a Hawaiian flopper and a Tahitian flopper. The biggest thing I like to look at when I'm buying a spear is the way that the flopper itself is tuned. So a really big thing when you go into your shop to get a spear, a really nice easy test is to hold your spear back towards your tang and in the middle hit it and if your flopper stays up it's a relatively pretty good tuned flopper. We're also looking to make sure that your flopper isn't anywhere close to 90 degrees because that allows for, you know, if you shoot quite a large fish, 20 kilo kingy, 10 kilo kingy even, but sometimes there'll be too much leverage for the, for the fish to get on the flopper and can tear that flopper off. So, big thing there. Again, grab your spear towards the end, have the flopper facing up, hit it in the middle. And if that flops up, that's what we're looking for. Again, then pull on your flopper and make sure that it is nowhere near 90 degrees. One more thing to think about when you're looking at the front end of your spear and what spear to choose is what style of head it has on it. Now, typically there's two different styles when we're talking about floppered spears. You're going to have a bullet point spear, which is a evenly rounded tipped spear. You've then also got a tri-cut spear. The difference between both of those is typically it is a lot easier for people to sharpen a tri-cut spear because it is just three square edges. So a file is really easy to still keep it quite nice and even and keeping that point right in the center of the spear. It is a lot harder to do that with a circular shaped or bullet point head. Looking at your tri-cut also versus your bullet point, for me, it's a lot harder to blunten a tri-cut spear. So in that sense, it's also got a lot more penetration power. So if you're chasing bigger fish and you're trying to make sure that, you know, if you hit a spine on a marlin or dog tooth, that's, you know, as thick as, thick as that, you wanna make sure you have as much penetration power or bone splitting power. And you're going to typically find that a tri-cut spear will hold that over a bullet point spear. From there, we touched on it earlier. You've also got your threaded ends, and these ones are going to typically be used in conjunction with a slip tip, and they're going to be, they're going to be a real big benefit for guys you know, out there chasing pelagic species. 
Easy guys, so for any more information on any of these spears, head on over to our website at spearfishing.com.au. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to see more, we have loads of content on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to check out our stores. Or you can shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.